people often tell me that I remind them of Kanye West. I think they draw that comparison because of how driven I am to put out the best of my artistic self. So I take that as a compliment. Oh, and also very good because of my dashing good looks. From what I've noticed throughout my life is that people love to be sympathetic. Which is probably the reason why Make-A-Wish is so popular. With all this in mind, I concocted quite a wonderful idea. And with that, I knew just who to go to. Daniel. Hey, buddy. Nolan, my man. How are you? Well, I'm all right. Um, I'm a little curious, though. So, what exactly are you doing here? Oh, yeah, I just kind of showed up completely unannounced, didn't I? Yeah, well, here's the thing. All right, so get this. Right now, I am in the process of planning a concert. But not just any concert, no. no. I'm talking about something very high profile. Because I've often thought to myself, right, how do I get the attention of someone like Billie Eilish? Oh, all right, I think I see where you're going with this. So, here's what I'm thinking, Nolan. Between you and I, of course. I'm going to get a band together, and I'm going to throw the benefit concert on my behalf. On your behalf. Oh yeah, I'm going to have cancer. Wow. Um, don't you think that's a bit of a slippery slope to put yourself down? I don't know why it should be. You know, I can always just say I went remission. All right. So currently this is just between us then. Mum's the word. All right. I guess my next question is uh, why? Why me specifically? Well. Look. We both know that your dad is a man of large stature. I'm sure he must know some big shot publicists, right? I'm sure he does, but none that he's told me. Why? Do you want to go talk to him? Yes, I would. He might be in a meeting right now. I don't think it'd be a very good idea to disturb him. Can you make an exception? I guess we'll have to go find out. You didn't make an appointment. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Mike. No, please, please. Call me Uncle Mike. Uncle Mike, okay. So, I have a favor to ask you, if you'd be as kind enough to let me, of course. Go on, I'm listening. Okay, so, I'm trying to organize a concert right now to get the attention of someone like Billy Adams. Now, I know you have a lot of connections. Would any sort of publicist or promoter have that sort of pull? <laughs> Billie Eilish. Is she that strange green-haired girl? Well, it's blonde now, actually. I've had enough with these outlandish artists that are popular these days, and they're incredibly mediocre music. Why aren't there any artists like Elvis anymore? Because they're dead. You want my help, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah. Wait, wait. I do know somebody I can get you in touch with. Right here in the area, in fact. Very convenient. Yeah, that would be, <laughs> that'd be great. Here is his contact info. This should do you good. Awesome. Okay, so another thing is this is supposed to be a benefit concert because I'm supposed to have cancer. You have cancer? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's what they're supposed to think. Hmm. I think I could arrange something like that. Awesome. Thank you, Uncle Mike. Good. Someday, and that day might never come, I'll call upon you to do a service for me. But until that day, please accept this gift with my utmost gratitude. And just to teach you an important fact, Jerry Lee Lewis is still around. Of course. How could I forget the guy who married his 13-year-old cousin? So how much does Nathaniel love Billie Eilish? <gasps> I love Billie Eilish. Wait, so do you want me to pretend to be Nathaniel's friend here, or like? Yeah. Okay. You know,
know, Nathaniel brings up Billie Eilish, like, whenever he really gets the chance to. It's getting kind of weird, though, I'm not going to lie. Not for some of us. Did you know he's putting on a concert for her? <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> no, I didn't know that, but it doesn't surprise me. So how did you start listening to Billie Eilish? So me and Nathaniel assign albums to one another, regardless of genre. Just, we love music, huge music guys. And one time he assigned to me Billie Eilish's first album from a few years, few years back, and I heard great things, great reviews, critics really loved it. And I really enjoyed it as well. I mean, she's got a great style musically. She's a great role model for young girls across the world. A lot of body issue and mental health awareness stuff that she mentions in her lyrics and just in interviews. So it was really great. Just one thing I would like to mention, though. His obsession is a little strange, if you ask me. What do you mean by that? Don't get me wrong, she's a great musician, has many attractive features, but sometimes he just goes a little too far. And now, it was time to talk to our promoter. So what do you think attributes to Billie Eilish's success? I think it comes down to her authenticity. Um, she kind of does her own thing. She's very honest about herself. She's, you know, she doesn't hold anything back. She's raw. She's talented. And, you know, she's been doing this since you know, at a very young age, and people in the industry try to take people around that age and kind of mold them into this little box, and she's basically said the hell with that and has done her own thing since day one. So, you want to help us get her then? Sure. With the promoter on board and the venue locked down, I knew things were beginning to look up. During that time, I took it upon myself to put together a band that was up for the challenge. Is that a thing I heard? You would be correct, Martin. I didn't recognize you for a second there. Yeah, I get that a lot. So, I guess we're missing Primo then? Well, I don't see a drum kit, so I'm assuming so. seen a man with cancer before? Not many, it seems. Um, wh where's the drum kit? You said there's going to be one here. Oh, yeah. Well, we actually couldn't get a drum kit, so I got this instead. You're right there. How the hell do you expect me to play this? As the venue was beginning to fill up, I could just feel the excitement in the air, especially coming from the band. I, I don't even know what the fuck he expects me to accomplish here. I mean, I really appreciate Nathaniel giving me this gig and all, but he's clearly wearing a bald cap. I mean, I think he's just full of shit. Yeah, I guess I'm uh, pretty excited to see how this turns out. Excuse me. Uh, attention, everybody. Hi. How's it going tonight? <clears throat> so first, I'd like to thank you all for coming out to this benefit concert. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, it means the world to me that you care this much about me and my um, condition. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, here's the hoping that our collective efforts here today will help me get to meet Billie Eilish and find a cure for this intolerable disease. Yeah! So, here's an original that I wrote. Uh, I think it even has the potential to be a number one here in the States. And it deals with a topic that many can relate to being homelessness, so here it goes. Oh, no. 
know, just like I really felt that connection with my audience, you know. And I mean, that riff, I mean, it's undeniable. <laughs> I mean, obviously, like, I don't want to speak on her behalf or anything, but I'd say there's a fair chance that she'll dig it. So, I probably shouldn't have said that I had colorectal cancer, because... Most people my age actually can't get that. And after walking around for a few months wearing a bald cap, I think people kind of figured out that I actually didn't have cancer. So everyone kind of hates me now. Except Nolan, me and him are cool. But regardless, I will say the best thing that probably came out of this is I did get Billie Eilish's attention. Come here, I'll show you. Restraining order. Docu signed and everything. So I'm just going to set that right here under a picture of my Uncle Stevie there. And that is what I call in my books a job well done. One fine morning was I sitting in my bedroom Just staring down at my feet Man, it looked rough But nothing was worse than the sound coming up from the street I opened my window and to no surprise I certainly could believe my eyes No, no, no Yeah, well, uh, hey, that's uh, Alan Sweet Alan Sweet You my bathroom But why couldn't he close the door? As he finished, he looked at me He didn't bother to Put down the seed. Why, oh, why? I don't understand what I have to put a homelessness needs. As he left, he climbed out the window, turned and said, The very screen. Thank you again for being my friend. And there went old Alan Sweet. Alan Sweet gave me my bathroom. Why wouldn't he close the door?